Hello, thank you for coming to our presentation today. Today we'll be talking about neural tree expansion for multi-robot planning in non-cooperative environments. My name is Benjamin Riviere. My collaborators are Wolfgang Hunig, Matthew Anderson, and Sunjo Chung. The overview figure of our paper is shown on the left, where the paper code and video are available online. The goal of the research is to develop a high-performing real-time planner for complex robotic systems. To motivate our, the rest of our talk, we'll first present some videos of the planner in action. Although the planner is compatible with general problem statements, we'll first focus on the reach target avoid game, shown here in the movie on the left. In this game, blue robots try to reach the green goal while avoiding the red robots and the gray obstacles. Once we have the planner working in a simulated environment, we can quickly transfer to a real robotic system. Uh, here, the robots are crazy fly quad rotor robots with double integrator dynamics. The point of these videos is to show that NTE finds high quality solutions to complex robotic planning problems in real time. The outline of the talk is as follows. First, I'll give a background of the problem statement and the relevant methods. Next, I'll talk about the neural tree expansion method developed in this work. And finally, I'll present results, which include both simulations and uh, physical experiments. This work is motivated by next generation autonomous systems. Systems such as self-driving cars require planning algorithms to safely navigate the environment while predicting the behavior of the rest of the world. Uh, this type of requirement is also prevalent in warehouse robotics, search and rescue missions, reforesting robots, and subspace applications. Classical pro planning problems can be formulated with a Markov decision process, MDP, with elements of a state space, action space, transition probability function, reward function, and discount factor. The setting can be generalized to uh, partial observability, uh, known as a POMDP. And that can be further generalized to multiple rational agents, known as a partially observable stochastic game. The solution to these problems is called an optimal policy, which maximizes the discounted expected reward over time. In this paper, we attempt to find an approximate algorithm that addresses the maximum level of generality of the partial observable stochastic game. Low dimensional problems can be solved with value or policy iteration or with analytically derived solutions. However, high dimensional problems are an active area of research. The deep reinforcement learning community proposes, might propose something like trust region policy optimization. The search community might propose Monte Carlo tree search. And uh, there also exist hybrid methods such as alpha zero and exit. Monte Carlo tree search is a tree based online solution to the planning problem. It finds a solution by considering all the possible actions and expanding the tree towards areas of high reward. In particular, there's two steps, simulate trajectory and backpropagate information from the trajectory through the tree to inform future simulated trajectories. The simulation step starts at the root node, which is the current state of the world. Then it selects an action, transitions to the next state and computes the reward. And upon arriving at a leaf node, it estimates the value. The simulation is then complete and the information is back propagated up the tree. The multi-agent extension of Monte Carlo tree search has each robot apply its action in a turn-based fashion um, along the tree where each robot selects the action that maximizes its own reward. The alpha zero extension of Monte Carlo tree search uh, augments the, the tree growth with a data-driven approach where the select action operation is augmented with a neural network policy and the estimate value function is uh, augmented with a neural network value uh, function. However, before this powerful discrete method can be applied to a robotic system, there are key assumptions that we need to address, uh, which we'll do in next in uh, neural tree expansion. In order to bridge the gap between high performance discrete settings and realistic robotic settings, we introduce two tree search algorithms, the learner and the expert, where each have uh, 
a unique contribution. At runtime, only the learner will be evaluated, but the expert is needed for the training process. The learner is decentralized and uses limited computational resources. It plays itself to generate relevant state-based samples. Next, the expert, which is centralized and uses a large computational budget, it generates high quality demonstrations on these samples. Next, the neural networks are trained using the state demonstration data set, and then they bias the tree search in the next iteration. Iterating over these three steps improves the policy and value network quality over time. The first extension we have to consider is within the tree, how to uh, account for the continuous action space for uh, robotic settings. There exist methods to handle this case, such as progressive widening, black box optimization, and manual discretization. Neural tree expansion tries to address this problem with a data-driven method. Uh, first, we learn a probability distribution to generate an action list. Then we select actions conventionally, and we estimate value like alpha zero. Uh, in the picture on the left, we can see that the, uh, the actions, the boxes, are uh, generated by sampling a normal distribution, where the uh, mean and variance are parametrized by the weights of the neural network, and the input to the neural network is the state. Um, we also explored other variations, such as general probability distributions using conditional variational autoencoders, but we found that using a normal distribution had a good uh, computational complexity and performance trade-off. The next extension we have to consider is how to uh, decentralize the evaluation such that the tree search can be evaluated at each robot with only local information. As we mentioned earlier, the expert is a centralized computation. This means that it inputs the full state information and outputs the coordinated team action. So here we can, on the right, we can see that each blue robot has an associated uh, action. The learner is decentralized, which means that it inputs only a local information about the robot of interest here shown as a local sensing radius around uh, the gray circle around the top left blue robot. Um, in addition, its output is a, a local action, just the action for each robot. Uh, at this point, we have to figure out how to synthesize a decentralized uh, uh, policy, whereas the optimality is well-defined in the centralized case. In order to do this, we use a global to local learning strategy. This is a strategy that was introduced in our previous work. Um, and uh, the, the key idea is we ask the composition of learners to best imitate the centralized expert. The final extension we consider is synthesizing a planner with a limited computational resource. This extension will permit real-time evaluation of our planner on board real robots. We accomplish this in the same method as the previous decentralized evaluation by leveraging the existence of two trees, the learner and the expert. In this case, the learner is given very little computational resource uh, measured through the number of simulated trajectories in the tree, whereas the expert is given a large computational budget. Visually, this corresponds to sparse versus dense trees. Adopting an imitation learning style, we can synthesize a learner that best imitates the expert with a fixed and user-specified computational budget. It's important to have two separate tree searches here because the learner will generate self-play samples in relevant domains of the state space. Um, and uh, the expert will generate high quality demonstrations. If we had only the learner, the demonstrations wouldn't be of high quality. And if we had only the expert, the uh, input domain would not be that that we would expect at runtime. Next, we discuss results of uh, neural tree expansion applied to canonical problems. The first problem we consider is the bug trap motion planning problem, where a robot starts at the orange circle and has to go to the green square in the presence of the obstacles. 
NTE solution is shown in blue, which matches the intuitive uh, optimal path. The contour plot is the neural network value function uh, evaluated that helps guide the tree search. And the uh, quiver plot is the policy function, which also helps guide the uh, tree search. However, uh, this is just a single agent multi uh, Markov decision process, and we wanted to move to a differential game setting. And to test NTE in this setting, we chose to study the homicidal chauffeur problem, which is a canonical differential game with a known analytical solution. Um, the plot that we're showing here is the reduced space for this problem. Um, and uh, the, traje the trajectory of the NTE is shown in blue which matches the known analytical solutions. So uh, in these two examples, by matching NTE with uh, uh, intuitive and analytical solutions, we show that NTE works for um, Markov decision processes and differential games. Here we study the double integrator reach target avoid game. We study this game because it's very complex and high dimensional with the number of uh, robots on the team. And there exists currently no good computational methods for this type of problem. Uh, however, we're able to show that NTE can scale to this, uh, this problem complexity and finds good solutions. Uh, the state space is shown on the left for a 10v10 reach target avoid game. Um, and on the right, we show the progress over learning iterations and the learning curve plots. These plots are generated by considering a set of policies uh, the learner and expert for various learning iterations and a baseline control theoretic method. And we're able to show that, uh, and they each of the policies play uh, combinatorially all the other policies. And then we plot the terminal reward. Um, and so we see that uh, in these cases, the learner and the expert increase over time, over learning iteration, and quickly overtake the baseline policies. We also consider uh, the 3D Dubin's vehicle reach target avoid game. So in this example, we changed the uh, state space and action space and transition function to reflect that of the 3D Dubin's vehicle, um, which is an important model for modeling aircraft. Um, we have the state space shown on the left and we can see the same uh, trends for um, the learning curves on the right. We have a kind of a steady uh, improvement until converged behavior. Um, finally, we present results in the form of physical experiments. Here we're flying three V2 reach target avoid game um, on Crazy Fly quad rotors in a motion capture arena using the Crazy Swarm software infrastructure. We're running the policies in parallel on an Intel i7 processor. Um, and we demonstrate that the learner with 500 nodes runs at 11 milliseconds and uh, a baseline Monte Carlo tree search with 10,000 nodes runs at 277 milliseconds. We demonstrate uh, that the learner has better performance and 25 times less wall clock time, which demonstrates that the NTE algorithm can be used to uh, enable real-time planning in complex scenarios. In conclusion, Neural Tree Expansion is a robotic planning algorithm that combines deep learning and tree search. Through experimental and simulated uh, evaluation, we show that NTE scales to high dimensions while maintaining performance and real-time evaluation. We think NTE is a promising robotics planning framework because it provides a thinking fast and slow architecture. The deep neural network models give complexity but not adaptability. And uh, the tree simulations give adaptability, but not complexity. By combining these two, we arrive at a thinking fast and slow architecture. Thank you for listening to our talk. We look forward to answering questions at the live session.